All right. This is Snow Runner. I I was a big fan of Spin Tires, and I was a big fan of Mud Runner. So this is the new one. Well, it's it's been out for for a couple of weeks now. I was kind of first you need to move to be a scout in the new era. So I think if I remember correctly, um, this is the map, which at the moment is completely blacked out. So I have to go. Where am I? I'm not even sure where I am, but oh, there you go. So I'm right here in the Chevy CK 1500. And I need to make it to this watchtower over here. Okay, so I remember that much. This is the menu button. This is my acceleration and stuff bottom right. This is the handbrake button. I'm playing with a controller. I have the Astro CR C40. Yeah, C40. Um, there we go. We see the engine there. Ah, and we're moving. So I was thinking about playing this with a steering wheel and stuff, but mm, okay, hold on. This is very zoomed in. Is there a way I can go to settings and mess around HUD maybe? Oh, here we go. First person FOV. Okay. All right, that looks a bit better, right? So, um, I was thinking about playing this with a steering wheel and stuff, but, um, if you've ever played, uh, when doing rough terrain, you can switch to low gear. Yeah, the low gear thing helps, but not that much if you got a control. So if, if, if you've played ever any of the spin tires, you know that you need, uh, you need this, sorry, this one here to move the camera around. Like, spin tires is all about, like, finding where the traction is. I call it spin tires. Snow runner is all about finding where the traction is. And right now, I think we're just in rear wheel drive. Oh, the truck. Okay, so we're going to get a couple of tips here. Um, As we're starting off. I mean, we're still doing it. We're just rear wheel drive. If we, uh... If we feather the throttle, I mean, we're sinking in back, back, <laughs> we're sinking our rear tires in, but we're doing it no problem. Uh, spin tire has always been very weird as soon as you, uh, got snow runner. These type of games have always been very weird whenever you, uh, gain a little bit of speed. It's not that easy to control them. It feels very wobbly, but at low speeds and stuff, which is what you're going to spend most of the time on. All right, so this was rear wheel drive, and I think to enable all wheel drive, I do, yeah, I do this one, and I press X. There we go. So now we're in all wheel drive. All right, so here is a little bit of highway road. I'll go first person. As you kind of tell, it's pretty... Here we took all-wheel drive off. It's pretty... Pretty not made for, like, high speeds. Should I have gone down there to the right? Yo, One Shot One Grill, thank you so much for subscribing for 33 months. Much appreciated. Bless your beautiful face. Thank you for being part of the community. Hugs and kisses. Welcome. You will encounter different kind of terrain. Mud, blah, blah, blah. Only the most experienced and well-equipped drivers can drive this kind of terrain. When in doubt, there's no avoiding danger. You can find out more types from the Codex. Um, Codex. Oh, wow. Okay. There's, uh... We'll, we'll figure out stuff as we get along. Alright, so the question is... Can I push this out of the way? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so in old spin tires, they didn't really like you doing that. They would block you. So we could take that that little dirt road up top there, or we could try to go through this here. I just want to go see how deep it is. 
Um, I think this might be doable. I mean, dangerous water level already. We're going to put our all-wheel drive on. And... And just... Yeah. Oh, that was easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright. Take our all-wheel drive off. Oh. I want to hit that. You can refuel here or near any vehicle that may potentially carry fuel. Refueling is free as our repairs. Am I stuck here? I made it to that whole river and this is where I get stuck. Alright, do we need fuel? We're 75 out of 80. Might as well go here. If you're stuck, use the winch. That's fine. Alright, so fuel station. Okay. Is this realistic? Um, we're about to find out. I mean, like, it, I like it because you you can get stuck. You have to winch. For example, in a situation, this is this is not gonna be able to to go through. Okay, is there any music playing? How do I stop the music? Because I don't know what's copyrighted or not. Audio. Ambient volume. Oh, it's probably... Okay, I think it's... It's a radio... It's, it's a radio from the... Uh, from the... From the gas station. So, for example, in a situation like this, I shouldn't be able to make it just with a uh, rear-wheel drive. Unless you want to do some winching. Let's see how far we can get. Actually, we might... Mm, I don't know. I think when we get in the water, we're just going to start sinking. Okay, so about here is where we're not going to start making much progress anymore. So here, we're going to switch to all-wheel drive. And in all-wheel drive... We... <laughs> we sink even more. Alright, we might have to do some winching. Uh, actually, not yet. You can winch if you want to get out of it like a lot quicker, but uh, I, I I just enjoy struggling and trying to make it without a winch. What is the objective of this game? So I just started the solo, um, the solo missions, the solo, the whatever the world is. Um, so I don't know exactly what you do here i'm just following right now the tutorial like right now it told me to come to this watchtower here and if we look on the mini map i think oh there was a watchtower over there too so when you when you get to a watchtower if i'm not mistaken uh you get vision of the whole map so like this i think is supposed to be the whole map here and you can see like there a lot of it is blacked out and i have to go in and find the watchtower. So I think right here is this is a watchtower. And boom, there we go. Okay, so good job. You have discovered your first watchtower. Discovery will reveal parts of the map. To, re to repair the bridge, you will need a bigger vehicle to transport materials. Open your map and look around your surroundings. Find a truck capable of transporting materials as needed to repair the bridge. Okay, so I guess our first mission is to go repair the bridge. So, set to look at the map. Um, gosh, I'm playing this with, like, plugged in because I don't know if I have, uh, if I have, uh, battery on my controller. Um, so I set to find a truck. So, it just says truck here. Okay, it does say what it is. Okay, can I... Switch directly to the truck, or do I gotta go there? Garage not discovered. Oh gosh, there's... Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. Alright, well, I'm looking forward to it. Delete waypoint. No, I think that's where we gotta go. There's also... What's over there? There's like a trailer. It's a side what? Sideboard trailer. 
And over here, there's a flat bed semi-trailer. Okay, so they, they made it a bit more complicated to do stuff, which is good because that gives you uh, that gives you more reasons to um, to like you know keep doing it. Because up until now, they usually had they usually had like one mission, and the mission was like, hey, make it from this point to this point. So I need to go. I need to turn around, turn right, follow the road, and turn left to go to that truck right there. I think if I move my mouse, I should be able to just switch to the truck like this. Okay, maybe after I unlock it. I might I might have to go unlock it. So we said that we're going to turn around. Take this road here. How are you today? What's up, Kinkery? I'm doing pretty good. Just kind of felt like playing a little bit of spin of uh, Snow Runner, Spin Tires, Mud Runner. It's been under all these names. How are the brakes going down the hill? Well, definitely, definitely, not much. Uh, there's a bit of ABS there, I think. I'm going through some mud here. Oh yeah. Uh, if I move my mouse here, can I see? Okay, functions. Okay, so this is select the witch point. So we have, I guess this is transmission, suspension, engine, and I don't know what that is, the 50 out of 50. But that's the function. So this is where you attach a winch from. Select the witch point. Oh, okay. Uh, pull winch. Uh, they definitely made winching a lot easier. Oh, a lot easier. Is this game... Is it a game that is playable? Keyboard and mouse? Yeah, you can play this in the keyboard and mouse too. Because a lot of it, like, right now, look, I'll just... Like, I'll, right now, I'll just play with the keyboard and mouse right now. So I'm like, I'm using the mouse... To move the camera around i'm driving the wasd um you have damage your vehicle oh gosh oh hey look at that we actually have damage so press a v so we press v to see what's going on so we can see that my engine is 98 out of 100. oh wait show damage x oh oh boy okay all right yo all right that's pretty cool all right, so I'm going to keep driving. Um, left shift. So on so one thing that so one thing that I like is like on um, on controller, for example, if I press the acceleration just a little bit, I can pretty much just like slowly rock uh, crawl it. Right. Right. So I can just, you know, if, I, if I'm just pressing and let me turn on. Um, let me turn on all-wheel drive, because otherwise we're going to get stuck. But if I just press a little bit of the throttle here, you can see that I am just... Just going. So, like, that's, like, one thing that I really like playing with a controller, because you have that, that thing. But on, on keyboard, once you press the W button, it goes full throttle. So, one thing that you can do is you go and put it in, see, like, right here, bottom, underneath here. So, you press Shift... And you can put it in reverse, in neutral, uh, high range. So you can put it in low range. And when you put it in low range, it keeps it at, at, at a certain, like, low RPM. So you can keep climbing. So, uh, so far, I haven't had the necessity to to switch um, on, a, on a controller to switch to the low range. But... Yeah, low range has more torque, but so far on on a controller, I hadn't I haven't needed to to switch it. Okay, you have found your first highway truck. This truck is designed for road, so there are no off roads option. <laughs> Try not to fall into a swamp or drive deep into the mud. You can find out more about different types of vehicles in the codex. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, so go here and change truck. Okay. It's not the best truck for the job, but it will have to do. The steel company is waiting for you to repair the bridge. Press to open the map and access contracts. All right. 
So I guess I gotta... Uh, so, so our mission right now is we have to deliver to the old bridge metal beams and then wooden planks. So that's the old bridge and the uh, planks are there. Okay. All right, so that's where we're going first round now. We're going into... We're going into... Uh, now, this truck is just rear-wheel drive. I'll just put it in neutral. This truck doesn't have... <sighs> Let's see the interior. There used to be... A, I forgot which one was the horn. No diff lock. Okay, that's turning it off and on. No all wheel drive installed. Oh, whoa, whoa, profile. Okay, so this is button down, left, right. I don't know where the horn is. Anyway. Alright, so first we gotta go up the hill. Shouldn't be a problem for this uh, road truck, as they call it. Full throttle, no problem. Where can I download it? So uh, the first two games. Spin tires and snow runners were on Steam, uh, and this one they uh, released it on Epic Store, so it's 32 bucks on Epic Store. I just bought it today. So, this, by the way, this is not like a sponsored video or a sponsored stream or anything. I have just personally played a lot of uh, spin tires and mud runner, and I wanted to play this one too. Actually, in spin tires, I used to uh, do like the the challenge maps, the uh, the ones that would take like five to seven hours. Um, yeah, that was so much fun. A little bit hard on the brakes there. Whoa. Okay, I think, let me see. I might have to, uh... I might have to, like, increase my, uh... Steering speed because it's a little bit low. I don't know. I don't think they they have traffic. I don't think they've done that yet. Okay, so that's where we need to go right now. So let's just back into that. Okay, apparently, apparently I'm hitting that somehow. Okay, X for cargo. Alright. There are a couple of ways to load cargo. Automatic loading provides a simple and fast way to use a crane. Right trigger. Okay. Manual cargo. Okay. Many of cargo are versatile construction material, low structure. Loading cargo, manual cargo. Cargo management. Okay, um, if I do it manual, how do I do it? I'm trying to put my camera. Let me see. Do I? Oh crap! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vehicle damage. So do I pull it in here for manual cargo?
Okay, well, I'm pushing it. Alright, so I made a bit of room here. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, uh... Stop engine. I was gonna winch it. Do I need to do I need to bring something else to load it? I don't mind bringing something else to load it. You can't do manual load now. You need a crane. Uh, uh, so then I do have to do auto load. Boo. Well, I was actually going to try to see if I can look on the map for a uh, for for a crane or anything like that, but I've only seen my other vehicle over here and like nothing else. So, all right, so this one we'll just do with the with with the manuals. Ooh. <laughs> all right, I don't think I'll be hired again for for this job. I will say that this one. Okay, I, I need to increase my steering speed. Uh, controls, maybe? Mouse sensitivity, no. Gamepad. Fix sensitivity. Uh, let's just see what this feels like. Out of curiosity. I hope it's not... Yep. It's only for the camera angle. Yep, the steering speed is still the same. Okay. Uh, bring that. Bring this up again. Go to the gamepad. Move this one back to one or whatever it was. I guess you can't do... Speed. Alright. All right, now our next job is to go to... I don't know why it's not pulling up. I need to go here, so... I am coming out of here. I'm going to make it a left, a right, and then basically just follow this road all the way to the bridge. All right. Let, let's try not to ruin this the rest of this town I'm not gonna lie the um the the throttle inputs and everything feel a lot choppier than it did in uh spin tires or at least maybe it feels like it to me I was going to install this uh, and play it with my steering wheel, but I, I think they're... Uh, I, th I, I think their first person experience is still a bit, a bit far away. What if I just full send it here? Full throttle. Alright, not that, not that big of an issue. I can't wait to uh, haul lumber to the forest. That is most fun. Speed limit 55, I'm going how fast? I'm going 20 miles an hour. I'm going 21 miles an hour. Deliver to Old Bridge. Alright. So... 
one thing that I'm noticing is if you hold the brake, it automatically puts it in reverse. Uh, where do I? Oh, yeah, maybe that's why. I wanted to disable auto reverse. Uh, show damage. Now yeah, we don't have to worry about damage. Uh, cargo management. Unloading cargo, you may be presented with difficult, with different. Unloading options on the cargo with the current. There's only one way to complete. Okay. The bridge is on the way, but not there yet. To complete, you need to deliver another portion of the bridge. At the lumber mill. Ooh, do I need to like deliver two things? Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so they're definitely. They're definitely giving you more to work, which is what I like, because I felt the other the other maps didn't really have too much to do. All right, so let me uh, take a second and see what's going on here. So I have to go all the way to the lumber. Oh, I guess I got to take. The trailer. And then that, okay. All right, so we're not bringing in two loads. We're bringing in one load and we're just probably gonna attach a trailer to this. What's up, Trotty? How's it going? What's up, Scalped? Scalped. Right bumper, handbrake. Yeah, I know the right bumper is handbrake, but when I slow down sometimes, like it automatically, like if I'm holding the brake to make sure that I'm fully stopped and I'm not rolling back, Ooh, I can't wait to go up there. I'm not going to go with this because I'm not going to make it anywhere, but. What was that? You guys see something at the top of my screen? All right, let's go this way this time. This is this is the way they were telling me originally to go because the, the little water there was dangerous. So they wanted me to go this way where the water is not as dangerous. Honestly, I think it's way easier to go on the other side. Our lights have gone on. Did I put some fuel while I'm here? Fueling is free, right? Is there any money system in this game? Is this going to make it through here? No, we're not going to recover. You crazy? Uh... We're going to winch if we have to. I try not to winch. I will have to winch. I can tell there's no progress being made. Okay, so now they're the new winching system. So you just look at something and automatically winches. Yeah, I don't like that. I like the good old attach winch. You select. You select what which uh you select what winch you want to go and then you select that one. This is a good old ways, man. I think they tried to make it a lot easier for console players. And I think that's what happened. Yes, but only for buying vehicles and upgrades, not for refueling. Oh, so there is a money money management system. Gotcha. Uh, I don't think this to the right is a road. Let me look at the minimap. Yeah, it's definitely not a road. So we're just going to go straight. Oh, we could have taken this road here. Anyway, we're going to go straight left, right and go all the way down. All right. So pretty much the same as we did with the. Uh, with the uh, Chevy. 
first puddle stuck. Hey, they told us from the beginning not to get this vehicle into puddles. Because this is a street vehicle. It doesn't have off-road capabilities, okay? It doesn't have knobby tires. Doesn't even have all-wheel drive. Doesn't have lock differentials. All right, full speed down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold a little bit the right side here because I know that's really muddy. Come on, make it. Oh, we're we're digging in. All right, wait. I don't know if that's the best place to winch. No, that's not a good place to winch either. Ah, uh, whatever. Whatever gets us moving. Yeah, uh, I feel like they made winching a lot easier. I liked it when it was more complicated. What up, her? How's it going? The lumber mill looks like the best place to get those wooden planks. Yeah, literally, I made it here. All right, let's see if I can put them on my truck as is. Oh, no, because I need two wooden planks. Okay, so I'm going to have to put one on my truck and then... Got it. Uh, okay, so that one's already loaded. I don't have to load that one up. So then I'm just going to come here. Um, auto load at the moment. Hello? I don't... Oh. So is that technically two wooden planks that I got on me? Oh. So I don't have to pick up the other one. Here, let's complicate things. Oh, I can't unload him, can I? Ooh, unpack. Remove cargo. Oh my gosh. Okay, remove cargo. There we go. This is exactly how it works in real life, by the way, guys. Okay, so, because we're trying to make things a bit more complicated. Let's go ahead and... Oh no! Oh no! Oh, whoo! I was on my game froze. You may attach trailer. Trailer function. Okay, whatever. Yes, yes. X, X. Okay. Yo, am I gonna get stuck here? I don't even have the trailer on yet. Yo, no joke. Those wooden planks might have might have been pretty good. For traction. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hold on, we have to do a little bit of a... Okay, so I think I was supposed to do 
No, that just winches it to it. Oh, that was it? Alright. That's cool. That that won't be fun with that truck. Go to your garage and get an off-road vehicle. Bro. You're talking to the best off-roader. AKA there's winches in this vehicle. Look at this. Getting out of here, no problem. We might have a problem. There's gonna there's gonna be some slight. I have an idea if things go south, though. I have an idea. But hey, we're moving. An inch a second. It's still... My game's frozen. My game's back. Look, 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 look at this. See? Look. Movement. Yeah, you see those tires? They're moving. Stuck in the mud, I see. I'm not stuck. I'm giving my tires a bath. A mud bath. Oh, crap. The trailer got in the mud. All right. Um, we're pulling a slight Titanic and we're sinking. What? No. Winch me over there somewhere. Winch connected. Is that the only winch point? All right, we'll go out this way. I was going to go out the other way. We're going out this way. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. See? Progress being made so quickly. Move, you heavy beast. There you go. See? I don't know why my guy's jumping up and down like that. Um... It's a feature of the game. Uh, let's put it low range. I don't think I need low range, but low range is going to save our butt here. That went better than I thought. Yo, man, get off of my back. I know exactly what I'm doing. I've been doing this for over 37 minutes. <laughs> There we go, see? Okay, but on a serious thought, um... Okay, so my trailer is connected with lights. What's the key for the lights? F? Nope, that is winch. L. Oh, I think I, I might be thinking of a uh, farming simulator to where you can like have lights all around as well. In the tractor. That's what I'm thinking. All right. So last time. Uh, so last time we came through here and all the way up. But this time we're just going to go straight. I mean, the logical thing would be to go this way and take the actual roads roads. But because right here, when we climb here. I don't know how this climbing is going to be. I can only assume it's going to be perfect and we're not going to get stuck at all in any way, shape or form. So that's just what I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, do you guys, um, here, let me see. I, I noticed something a second ago. Do you guys want me to, uh, I can find it if you guys want me. How is it? How is it nighttime on stream? I, I noticed somewhere that there was a button to skip to daytime. So like skip nighttime. Do you guys want me to skip nighttime or are you guys chill with the with the nighttime? Looks good. Okay. I mean I don't mind nighttime, but I know that with the bit rate on Twitch and stuff it might be a bit low. Looks good. Alright. Oh, dude, this is easy breezy lemon squeezy. Okay, I think our first 
small obstacle is gonna come up, which um, seems to be a little bit of water. Okay. My thinking is if I hold it a bit to... Oh, it's actually not deep at all. Okay, never mind. I thought it was deeper. It wasn't. Raw Gucci Gucci Goo here. Uh, is this the climbing part? I think this might be the climbing part. Okay, I'm not going to let off the throttle now. We'll try to get up as much as we can. Uh, we're spinning a bit, but we're still moving. Oh, this is actually fairly easy. Oh, I thought we would struggle. Uh oh, is this game better than Mud Runner? Um, so I've only been playing this like forty something minutes. I do like the fact that it seems to be a lot more missions. So like right now, like I had to like I'm repairing this bridge here, and there seems like there's still a lot of stuff to do here. Um, so I like that part. But we shall see. I, I the controllers don't feel as good as Mud Runner though. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's this vehicle, but the control controllers don't feel as good. Uh, cargo management unload. I'm not gonna skip the scene. I built this. Okay, so we got twenty one hundred dollars, three hundred and fifty point stars. When you have enough experience, you can get a new driver rank. Every rank provides you with new options regarding your vehicles and on purchases of objectives may also require you to reach a certain driver rank before they unlocked. Press to see your driver profile. Uh, here's my driver profile. Oh, so wait, hold on. So we have, uh, so we have, we have three regions apparently. I don't know why this guy looks like, uh, the, the guy with the sky mask on, uh, escape from Tarkov contract. All right, so this is, I guess, what I can do. No, this is what I've completed here. Get to the garage. So I guess the get to the garage is going to be my next one. Alaska. Ooh, tasks, contests, achievements. All right. Well, here's my profile. I'm rank two now. Repair the bridge. Your first contract. Now the town is reconnected to the rest of the region. Time to find the garage, which is now marked up on the map. All right. So. Oh. All right. Well, we are going to the garage. 